Hey, welcome to Life with Colonel Lee. I am Colonel Lee. We are looking at a new tent, Kelty Grand Mesa 2. Now, this tent has been around for a while, but this is the new 2020 updated version. So stick around and let's see what is different about this tent. take a look at the uh, Kelty Grand Mesa 2 this is the updated version so let's take a look and see what they updated on this tent so 16 inches by 7 4.98 pounds. All right, here is the new updated for 2020 Kelty Grand Mesa 2 without the rain fly. So you get a lot of mesh, solid panel down there. For the bathtub style floor and kind of a combination on the roof solid panel and mesh panels so you do get aluminum poles and when i say updated for 2020 this is basically the same green grand mesa tent as before the green and the gray that they were selling so the main upgrade difference for 2020 is these, the way the poles go into the tent body. So you have a pole sleeve there, about eight inch long pole sleeve. That eliminates the grommets. And it's like that on all four corners. <clears throat> so as you're setting up the tent, <clears throat> you can place the pole into the sleeve from on this side flex the pole up and put it on that side and it makes it a lot easier you don't have to go all the way around all four corners to uh, put the poles in the grommets like you used to have to do and then you have the hug clips so they just kind of twist where are we at here oh twist in there <clears throat> and then at the top you have these kind of a uh, C clips you just go one side or the other just like that and that's it all right here is the updated for 2020 kelty grand mesa 2 with the rain fly on You have four guy outs and it came with enough stakes for all the guy outs that you see here even all these little side bungee guy out. Well, that's uh that makes it pretty nice to increase the ventilation in the tent so you have uh, one vestibule one door So you have a roof vent. I like the colors, the orange and gray. Nice colors. Uh, so here it is with the uh, two-way zipper on the rain fly. So if you want to maintain privacy but increase some airflow. That is one of the things you can do with a two-way zipper. Or if you just want to toss something into the tent real quick. Not have to bend over and unzip it completely. Or if you're inside the tent, just want to take a look out in the morning and see what's going on. So here is a option with the uh, 
vestibule door. And you can also pull out the stake and then just open it completely up if you like. So here's what the stakes look like. So you get a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 stakes. All right, let's get some... Uh, let's get the dog in the way. <laughs> Little road dog. What are you doing? What are you doing, Riley? All right, let's get some measurements of the uh, Kelsey Grand Mesa 2. So the front looks to be wider than the back, so let's get those measurements. So on the front width, we're at uh, 57 inches. So the back width is 43 inches. So the peak height is 43 inches. So we are at 84 inches in length. So there's plenty of uh, peak height in the tent. Even towards the back I'm still sitting, sitting up. So you got pretty good room sitting up. Good room width wise. That's definitely plenty comfortable for one person. All right, here is a uh, mesh hanging pocket. <clears throat> and you have another one over here. And that is all your pockets. You do get four loops. All right, and there's two behind me. So you want to put in the aftermarket gear loft you could, or if you want to string up a dry line. You could do that as well. And at the very peak here, we have a loop for lantern, flashlight, your light source, whatever. And behind me here, we have our roof vent, which I have it closed. So you can see the seam there. It's double stitched, heat taped, sealed. And right there on the seams, all tape sealed so you get a nice pretty tall bathtub style floor here comes up i'd say about eight inches eight to ten inches there all right well thanks for sticking around and taking a look at the new updated kelty grand mesa 2.